Hi everyone and welcome back to Scrap Edit Creations. I'm Diane and today we're going to be playing with flower shop paper. So let's get scrapping. So today I'm going to be working on a 12 by 12 layout for Nancy and I have these pictures of John and Irina in Nancy's backyard back in Wisconsin and she has this purple flower let me see if I can hold that up in front of the kids it's a beautiful flower and it's called a delphinia is what she told me and so I thought I would try to find you know a really cool paper with some flowers on it so I had picked out memory lane and I printed out, where is it, this file from the creative design team. So Andrea Sherman on the July 19th edition um, did this video on basically this, what, we, what would you call this? I, I can't even remember what she called it. I am so sorry. But it's really kind of a cool idea just having these spaces already marked and then being able to just put paper on them or a picture and then embellish. So quick layout, right? Well, when I was playing around with this paper, because it's kind of bright and cheerful and not that this isn't bright and cheerful, this is muted and cheerful. It didn't really go with these pictures. So I kept looking for my uh, flower shop couldn't find it. I seriously looked through my piles like three or four times, could not find flower shop. Then today I decided I'm going to look really slowly. I did and I found it. I think I just needed to wait till today to find it. So what I did was I matted all of these pictures onto uh, White Daisy and then Sapphire. So these are four by six. And these two are the four and um, a quarter by, by four. Okay, so they're all matted. And then I cut out this paper because I thought this paper was just perfect for this layout. And I have, oh, let's see. I was thinking this way, okay? So this is kind of how it prints out. I did cut a fourth of an inch off of each side so that I could mat it onto sapphire just to kind of give it that extra boost. I was going to, she had an idea where she took stuff around the border. At least I think it was on that video. I watched a lot of videos and it looked really cool on um, whichever video I did, but I thought, no, that's a little too much for me right now. I'm going to just mat this one. So I cut this down just a smidge after running it through the Cricut um, if you are a creative design team member, go to uh, July 19th, Andrea Sherman's, and the file is there. You can download this and print this. I am not going to be offering this because I did not create this. She did. So I don't feel comfortable um, offering this as a Cricut file. It's very easy to create, though. Basically, you would just take these um, shapes as a rectangle and... Um, Instead of having the cut, you would just say um, uh, draw. Sorry, couldn't think of it. Okay, so what I have here are landscape. And so one of the things I do love about 12 by 12 layouts and when you have any sort of sketch or anything is you can take it and you can flip it. And you can flip it. And you can flip it. Okay? So depending on what pictures you're putting where, you can keep going in this circle. Okay, so we have John and Irina there. And then I wanted to put the, the smaller picture of their heads here to kind of coordinate this because I've got three pictures of each thing. But I just kind of felt like this was one thing, you know, it just, and then this one needed, you know, just that little break in it. So I thought it kind of flowed better if I broke them up by having one of their heads and two of the, the floral background. And then 
one of the floral background or the garden background and two of their close-up heads. I thought that looked a lot better. Okay, so that was just my options and my thoughts on this. Okay, so then I have a second one. And for this one, I want to go this way. So it's kind of like pattern, pattern. And I thought that flowed really nice. And I wanted, I think their heads up top. I think that's how I was going with that one. I thought that kind of gave it a nice little balance. Let me scoot this over. Nice little balance of, of kind of the feels that I was looking for. Now, the reason why I did the lighter on the inside was because I thought it looked a little better. Like this was kind of framing it in. That was just why I did that. So in looking at this now, I really do like it. I love the patterns. I think it's really fun. I went back and forth with if I wanted to use this um, yellowish, it would probably be honey butter um, with the daisies because I do really like it. But I thought it kind of worked better with this color for this. And even though it is a female and a masculine layout or feminine and masculine, I thought it flowed pretty well with just a little bit of floral and a little bit of not floral. Is, you know, so it just kind of balanced it. We've got pictures with flowers. So, you know, pulling those in isn't a bad thing for a more masculine layout. But I'm not loving the lines. So when I put this here, I've cut it out exactly the size that it's listed. I can still kind of see that line and I'm not loving that. So I thought I would cut out some more sapphire. And when I do that, it hides that line. Now the only problem is the pictures still have that line on them. I didn't cut those out with a bigger mat. So I'm going to have to accept it, I believe, on those or recut those mats completely. Um, let's see here. But I do like that's this one these with the sapphire under it i think it looks a lot better now to determine what i do here i'm thinking i have to recut these mats because i really don't like that just a smidge of that line shows i did even try on the other one i cut it i had them drawn in gray um, this one, I did it in a blue, kind of a, more of like a mist blue. But I still am not loving that you can see it. Now, maybe if I had gone like a little smaller, having a line around it would be perfect, but I didn't. And so let's, let's actually take a look at this real quick. If I just left it white and I put that there, we would have basically a line around it. But I feel like it gets lost in there without the sapphire. So I'm gonna pause the video real quick. I'm gonna mat all these pieces and get a larger mat for the pictures. So I'll be right back. Really liking these on the larger mats. I like that it covers up the line and it just gives it a little more presence on the page. So I'm really liking that. Wow, that went really quick. I love having everything cut and ready to go because it goes on so quick and having the sizes already picked out for me, perfect. So this one ended up being four, what's it, it's four by four and a quarter. So I would have done four and an eighth by four and three eighths for this mat of sapphire. And so then the four by sixes would have been four and a fourth by six and a fourth. This one is two by four. So it'd be two and an eighth by four and an eighth. So I did I say a fourth? Yeah, no, this one would be four and an eighth by six and an eighth if I missed up, so sorry. Uh, this one's two by six. So this would be 
two and an eighth by six and an eighth. This one is two by four and a quarter. So this one would be two and an eighth by four and three eighths. And then it would be mir mirrored on the other side, <clears throat> the same sizes. So really cool how this turned out so far. I'm loving it. Now I went and grabbed my um, anti-static pouch because I've got a couple of titles and I'm not sure which one I want to use. So I'm going to grab those off of here and I'm going to use the anti-static pouch on the back. Um, I know I don't normally do this, but because I put so much effort into this, I don't want to ruin the layout. And I'm not exactly sure which title is gonna work. But I really like the concept of this happy together. I really like that. So let's do that one. And I like the you are truly amazing, but I'm not sure that one fits as well. So let's try these two. Grab out this little pouch. So the truly amazing, or you are truly amazing, I was kind of thinking up in here. I can't just pick it up. The happy together, I liked the concept of maybe here. So let's see here. The happy together seems to get lost. The you are truly amazing doesn't get lost, but I'm not sure I love it up there. It kind of, this, it get, everything's getting lost on that. So let's see here. Let's just kind of play with this. Hmm. I might like that down on this bottom area. I, I definitely think it needs to be popped. Now we've got some fuzzy wuzzies here from the little thing. Kind of cool too. Hmm. There's always the cherished always but it's kind of bringing the green in, which there is a lot of green in the pictures. Let's see what that one looks like. I'm gonna have a bunch of titles that are de-stickified. Uh, mm, I don't love that one. So I am not going to mess around with that one. There we go. <clears throat> Huh, the other one I was looking into was like this today one. I like it. I don't know if I would keep the today on it, but it's kind of, kind of cool. I'm liking that. Okay, so actually I'm just going to kind of put that up there. Uh, we've got some yellow flowers. We've got this little um, pennant or flagged piece. I like that. I, I really do like that one. We have more of those up here. We've got homemade happiness, beautiful moments. That's cute. Okay, I'm going to keep that one. Um, more than words, this, you are my happiness. That might work. Here's something that we could get a date on to. I'm just gonna put the ones I really like around here. I really like this one too, but I don't know if that will work. If I use, so on the Cricut, they have this Delphinius, and so I think that's how it's spelled. I think that's said correctly. Um, and I cut out three for the layout. could do something like that. I kind of like that. Maybe even like that. Hmm. I definitely don't want it on their heads, so it would have to get tucked under and to come up, but maybe. I also had um, pre-cut some tags, but in looking at them, they're kind of too big. 
but I do like the tab idea. Got a ticket style. That could be kind of cute over there. This is kind of a rounded style. And these are standard tags. And another ticket one. And then I cut out these little flagged and triangle pieces, pennant pieces. Because I was kind of liking the idea of putting in some sort of banner down here. Let's see here. So I'm going to go that way and that way. And, hmm. So like that. I don't know if I'm loving that. Let me add some pop tape to it and then we can see. I'm going to go with my, my taller pop tape on these. I almost feel like I need to ink some of these pieces, but I've already put them down, so I'm not going to worry about them. I just can't. And so if I was to do something like that, and then maybe this right above it. Let me see if I can pop this. And I would definitely use the taller on these. Let's see how many little dots do we need? Maybe a few more, but they would have to be kind of uh, cut. So that was fine. <clears throat> okay, I'm kind of liking this down here. No, not liking that. Let's see here. No, I don't like the tags. I'm just not liking the tags. I am still liking the Daphinius. Daphinia, however you say it, sorry. This would pull in some of the yellow up here. And maybe down here I could kind of cut that. And I kind of don't like how pointed this is. So let's kind of trim that a little bit. Yeah, I like it a little less pointy. Okay. Cut it on that line. Mm, might not be able to use that twice, which is perfectly fine too. Sometimes we can use them, sometimes we can't. Let's look at this one. That's very pointy. About white. Oh, I think I like the white. Let's fix that so it's not quite so pointy over there. Oops. Get those off of me. And let's just kind of cut that there. Oh, I'm liking that. Very cute. Maybe on that best day. I don't know. The grateful. I think I like the grateful a little better. I'm going to use the, the smaller pop tape for this one. So I want that a little subtler. And we'll just put three on there. Three nice ones. Oh, I like that. That looks cute. Let's see here. So if I was to do this one, let's put this one on first. And I need just a couple pieces of half pop tape. Just a couple. Okay. So I'm going to take off some of the 
the um, stickies backing, but not all of it. I don't need all of it, and if I have to move it, luckily this stuff is a little more forgiving than the close to my heart stuff, which is nice. Um, it's a little taller, which is what I normally kind of don't love as much, but I think I like that down lower. Okay, I'm liking this, and I like that with this here, it definitely kind of makes this stand out a little more. I know on camera, it's not standing out as much as I would normally want it to, but in person, it's doing a great job. I'm just going to add some, a little bit of the lower, the thinner pop tape on here. There. And then I think the two strands of this makes this nice and full, which is awesome. There we go. And I think that fills that up area that area up really nice. I like that. Okay. I do want to put this here. So, and I just put one little piece of pop tape on each of these. So I want to kind of spread these out a little bit. Let's see here. I'm glad I used this pop tape rather than the other one because this one is a lot more forgiving. And this one needs to come down just a smidge. There we go. And I will tuck that behind the page. I like that. That looks great. I really am feeling like this needs to go right here. Straighter, but here. Just needs something else up here. Not sure what yet. That is so crooked. Okay, straighten this out a little bit. Also, we have this one, which could be, I'm gonna put that as a maybe. Not loving it, but it could be nice. No, I don't like it. Put that back over there. Um, hmm. You know what could work would be maybe some half tags up here on this pattern. No, let's just pull them all out, right? Hmm. I'm going to cut these. I angle them. That could be cute. I think I like that. It's kind of fun. Okay, so let's put these guys down. Oops. And I'm just going to use the mono air to do it. Phew. Almost used the wrong side of that one. I 
Okay, that's kind of looking cool. And just put that there. And cut a little piece of string. Let's see if maybe a little bow up here would be nice. Okay, let's get a little more string. And let's trim. Looks pretty good. This one's a little big. Let's try and make that a little smaller. Okay. Now you can cut off a little more of this. Let's take that off of there. Okay, I'm liking that. This one is, these two right here need something. They need something, something. And that gets lost there. Okay. Mm -mm. Where did that little piece go? What does this look like? Kind of like that too. There's not a lot of embellishments for this one, so it's kind of a find it type thing. Let's see here. So the colors we're kind of dealing with here would be the honey butter, the sapphire, and maybe a ro raspberry or flamingo. Mm, those are kind of iffy. Let me grab my um, embellishments. Okay, we're going to start with from the beginning and take a look at these and see what we've got. But it's more of a, a honey butter than it is this color. Let's look at them though, just to be sure. Well, I feel good that I've looked at some stuff. Let's see this one, maybe at an angle. Oh, I like that a lot better. That one works. Okay. Might need to be matted onto sapphire though. And I just happen to have some sapphire right here that I can mat it with. And it's matted, yay. Okay, yeah, I like that. I like that a lot. Very cute. Maybe even just kind of straight. I love when I can go into those books and grab out some stuff that I just kind of have laying around and not using and use it amazing makes me feel like i did that for a reason <laughs> to use it i still am liking this at an angle i don't know i'm an angle person sometimes and today is definitely one of those days let's put some poppies on this and then i'm gonna grab it's somewhere oh here it is <laughs> I wonder if I can find it. Everything is blending in with these papers. It's crazy. 
Let's put some right there. And there we go. Oh, wow. I like that. And there's perfect room for journaling. Okay, so we've got beautiful moments. We've got this. I need to just tuck those behind. Yeah, I don't like the best. It's too, too bright. Too black. Okay. I love the tab over here or tag. Um, I feel like I need some twine right in here. So I think what I'm going to do is double this up and tie it into a bow. Like we've got a little bouquet there. And then I will use a glue dot on this little puppy. Is this the right size? Yep. Don't you love it when you reach into a drawer, grab one thing, and it's the right thing? <laughs> Bless you. Always makes me feel like I know what I'm doing. Oh, yeah, that kind of ties this twine over here. And I think we need to put a little more somewhere, but I'm not sure. Um, definitely not that one. I did pull out some gems as well as the Sundance and the Sapphire um, dots. So I've got those to play with as well. Over here, I guess I could always trim off something if I need to use that one. Let's see here. I'm not sure I would want that one. I like this one. I think I'm going to put this under here. There we go. And that kind of ties these two in. Well, I found a flower shop thing of embellishments. I didn't even know I had it. Should probably look in that drawer a little more often. I'm not loving the big flowers. I really like a lot of this though. Let's see what kind of bits I've got. What's this? I don't think I can use any more words, but there is some arrows and I don't want the uh, wood grain. I don't think pulling wood grain into this is going to work very well. These little white flowers are cute. We've got some hearts. I pulled out some uh, pink arrow. So probably, um, I don't think this is raspberry. I would say this is probably flamingo. Let's see here. Let's pull out the hearts and see what we've got. Because I can always put hearts all over. Oh, there's a little trio of hearts. Those are cute. I forgot I had these. That is so silly. And these little flowers are nice too. There's some flowers. Oh, they're mainly yellow. There's some pink ones too, but the... Of course, it's the daisies. I love the daisies. But I think these white ones. Oh, yeah. Look at that. That's cute. Just some random ones. Maybe even like a little heart up here. So far, I'm placing white. Let's see what else we've got in this little box. Okay. Well, I guess I should probably keep that out. Mm, probably not those. Wow, that's pretty cool. It's always nice when you go in someplace and you find more bits. So let's see here. Uh, I feel like these probably aren't going to work. They're a little too big. I've got one of the hearts here, so if I need the other heart, I can have that later okay oops not that there another pink arrow oh that's kind of cute talking about you know 
whichever. Let's see this one. Mm, not loving it. You are my happiness. Maybe these little guys with that. Just this kind of floating. No, not that one. Okay. Let's check out these little pink hearts. Maybe up here. Oh, I like that. That looks cute. Okay. Getting closer. I really like this little blue heart. We did something like that. Not loving that. Okay. So what have we got on here that I like? We've got this little daisy over here. We've got a daisy here. We've got some flowers here that might need. Hmm. I'm not sure I like that. What about a little heart? No, I'm not sure about that one. Let's go there in a second. So. I like these two. I love this and I like the little heart up there. So let's adhere those real quick. I feel like this side has come together really easy and this side over here is struggling a bit. It's got some blank spaces that are okay, but I feel like they need just a little something there just to kind of tie them in to the other side. So let's see, we have something here, maybe something in this corner or down in here. Just feels like it's kind of alone and floating. What do we got? Grab the sticker sheet again. Don't want to do too much that I have to tie into the other page. So that's just kind of mimicking and doesn't fit. But it's so cute. So cute. There's a little yellow heart. Okay. Now here's some white flowers. Maybe these popped up. Oh, I like that. Okay. Well, I'm glad I looked back at the sticker sheet. It's answering some of my problems. Maybe this little yellow heart right there. Okay, <clears throat> we have another green one. Maybe not the yellow heart. Maybe the green flower up there. Yeah, I think that's better. Kind of liking that. It's very simple. Very, very simple, which is nice. Hmm. 
Hmm. You know what? I feel like I shouldn't have done what I did here. Now let's see if I can fix it. Take off the grateful and put lovely. And that fits better because the grateful is got that green that we're not really, I mean, it's in it, but it's not in it, if that makes sense. That looks much better. Hmm. The blue sapphire right here is kind of getting lost, but I think it's going to be okay. I really love these flowers. They're so pretty. Kind of a pain in the butt to put together. And we'll have a cut file with um, these, the tags. I'll leave the tags as is, and this um, these pennant and uh, flagged pieces will be on it. So you could do whatever you want with it. Um, no, it's just button to put. But I'm still at a loss for what I can put in places. If those are out. Maybe. <laughs> Went right under that, that title. Oh, I like that better. That looks great. Okay. I'm going to go wild and put glue on this and just say I like it. And it's going to stay there. I like that it has another color in there. That is very nice. Okay, so we've got some twine here. We've got twine and twine. We've got flowers and flowers that kind of balances everything out. We've got some flowers over here. Let me see something. Those look like eggs. <laughs> if I put that on there. Yeah, no. But let's check the blue. The blue could work. There's two different colors of blue in here. One is a really dark and one is a not so dark. This is the one I want to try is of course the one that stayed behind with static. Hmm. Let's see here. Let's just kind of set that there. And set that there. I think that ties it in a little better. So I am going to use these to cover up that green a little bit. Perfect. Since it's not a perfect little circle, it's not going to be a perfect cover. There, it's a little better. Yeah, I like it ties it in a little nicer over there with that. And let's see here, these little hearts. Oh, that's kind of cute, putting them inside the little flowers. Oh, that's very sweet. I do like these down here, so I'm going to leave those. I don't know if I have enough little tiny Sundance hearts, but we'll see. I need one, two, three. I need four more of the tiny hearts. I don't even know if I have another tiny heart. I have the medium ones. Let's see here, the medium. 
It's a little too big. Now let's look at the little dots. Okay, the little dots look cute. Oh, here's another set of the tiny hearts. Let's put those up here. Oops. Okay. I think I want the tiny dots just down here. I've got one on here that's a little, it looks kind of like a little ladybug body. It's got a little goober kind of off to the side. Maybe it's easier to see at the bottom. It's not quite a perfect circle. I like, I'm liking this a lot more now. Not that I wasn't liking it before. I think it's a great concept. And so I really want it to work but I will say decorating it has not been the easiest, but you know, mainly because I forget that I have things. Let's see here. I'm not going to put any gems. I think it's got enough of the little bits. I said this over there. Um, I feel like this page is done. I feel like this one is done as well. I think I'm, I think I'm happy with this. Um, there's room for journaling. We've got a really cute little title. Uh, there's room to put maybe a date over here. Not over here. <laughs> um, I would normally put some twine here, but I think that there's so much twine going on that it's overpowering if I put it here as well because I only have it in one spot here. So I think to balance it, that's, that's a little bit of a better balance. Um, loving this paper. And I really do think this turned out great. So I hope that you enjoyed this. Let's take a closer look. I think that turned out really good. Especially since I flailed a little bit there with some embellishments. So now that we've got it all embellished up, not overdone, just perfect. You can still really enjoy the pictures, which is nice. And they don't look like like I put to put, it just looks nice. And that is exactly the look we are looking for. So thank you so much for coming to play today. I am so glad that you are enjoying my videos. Please give me a like, subscribe if you can, um, if you haven't already. And I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye. Thank you so much for taking time out of your busy schedule to come and play today. Please like and subscribe if you would like to see more of my videos, leave a comment and have an amazing rest of your day. I'll see you soon. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.